this is Ron Bremer. Net is my website. And today, excuse me, I want to share with you something about um, the sacrificial blood covenant, but how it pertains to you today as far as once you're saved, you're always saved. <coughs> Sorry. So, here goes. I'm going to try to put it in a nutshell so it's easy to understand. In the Old Covenant, when people sinned and broke the rules, they were required to pay with their life. But instead, God had them sacrifice an animal. So, the animal that they were going to sacrifice had to be perfect. And the priest would look at that animal and would examine it from head to toe, like you'd bring a lamb and for your sin sacrifice. And the priest would look and examine the sacrifice, the animal, because it had to be perfect or it wasn't a good enough sacrifice. Okay. So after he looked at the sacrifice and it was acceptable, it was a perfect sacrifice without spot, without blemish, blemish on it. It wasn't lame. Um, it was sacrificed. His throat was slit and, and uh, blood put on the altar and so on. So that was a substitute for your sin and your punishment. This lamb was sacrificed. So then <clears throat> today, Jesus became our sacrifice. So when God, look, when you sin, when you miss the mark, when you are saved and you ask Jesus to be the Lord of your life, when you accept the free gift of Him being the sacrificial lamb for your sins, His sacrificial lamb in the book of Hebrews and Romans says that He was one sacrifice for all time. In other words, every year they had, a, in the Old Covenant, they had to bring a new lamb, a perfect new lamb every year for all their sacrifices sins of that year. Well, Jesus was only going to be sacrificed one sacrifice one time for all sins forever. So, that one sacrifice of Jesus <coughs> excuse me, covered your whole lifetime of sins. Instead of going from year to year one sacrifice this year, then at the same time next year another sacrifice. Instead of that, it was one sacrifice. Jesus was the lamb and he was one sacrifice. He was spotless. He was perfect. So he was good enough for forever, not from year to year. Okay, so when Jesus died for your sins, because you, you have accepted him as your Savior, he died for your sins. He died one time for ever for all your sins. Okay, you're not going to get saved and then unsaved. You're saved. Now, when you miss the mark, when you mess up, when you sin, Jesus is still good enough. He is still the sacrifice. He doesn't have to be re-sacrificed. Okay? So, what happens, remember, that the, the priest always looked at the sacrificial lamb to make sure it was perfect. Because obviously the person bringing the lamb was not perfect because they sinned. So here you go. Today, you sinned. Okay? Well, now when God looks at you... He doesn't look at you and say, whoops, you sinned, I'm going to get you. He looks at the lamb, and the lamb is still spotless. He looks at the lamb that was sacrificed in your place. So he's not going to see your sin. The lamb's blood covers, takes away your sin. And that is really, really exciting. That one lamb that was sacrificed forever takes away your sin forever. Now, because this is such great news, this is called grace. And because this is such great news, you choose not to sin. It empowers you not to sin. Because knowing that he sacrificed one lamb for you, which was Jesus forever. And when God looks at you, he looks at you through the blood of Jesus and your sin is taken away. It's not that, oh, you sinned and now you're going to hell. No. Because this blood's perfect sacrifice was already paid for you. So, you're not going to hell. And knowing that you can't do anything that makes you go to hell. In other words, you can't... You, I don't mean to say it that way because that sounds not right. What I mean to say is the comfort of knowing that you are loved no matter what mistakes you make. 
the comfort of knowing that God's never going to leave you or forsake you, that he's always there. If he saved the sinner, he saved us while we were still sinners. Now that we're already saved, he's going to be for us even more, not even less. Okay? So, knowing that he will never leave us, that we're going to stay saved, we don't get saved today, and tonight we mess up and we're unsaved, and we get saved tomorrow and the next day we're unsaved. It's once and for all, but that doesn't mean that you can sin. God still hates sin, and the result of sin is death. So if you get saved by asking Jesus to be the Lord of your life, receiving the free gift of the blood of Jesus being paid for your sin, his life for your life, then if you continue to sin, the Bible says you reap what you sow, and sin brings death. You're going to have death, and that doesn't just mean physical death. That means death of your marriage, death of your family, uh, relationships, death of your uh, your business, death of your finances, death of um, your peace, and eventually death, and, you know, you're going to have hell on earth, basically, okay? So... Knowing that you're saved by grace, grace is what it's called when you're saved not by your own works, but by the sacrifice and blood of Jesus, and all you have to do is have faith in that sacrifice. Knowing that is a comfort that empowers you not to sin, and it's just so amazing and so empowering. And you know what? The same thing goes for laying hands on the sick. You don't have to be perfect to lay hands on the sick. Because nobody is. You're only perfect through the blood of Jesus. All you have to do is be saved and believe what the God, what the Word says. That you'll lay hands on the sick and they'll be healed. That's all it takes. And it's so much fun. So anyway, my name is RobinBremer.net is my website. Get on the website. Check it out. And if you like what I preach, if you like what I teach... Uh, share the link, share, uh, share, like, either share or like or subscribe. Uh, let people know, let your friends know because it's so much freeing when you just get to know how good God really is and how much He loves you. So I'll talk to you tomorrow.